in another video. And today, guys, you read that title, so you know why we're here. I've actually been meaning to do this video for some time now because as I'm scrolling through my timeline, I've noticed a lot of people have lost faith. I felt it in my heart to do this specific video because people tend to think that God is a magician, okay? So before we get into this video, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, or you can wait till you hear what I have to say and then like, comment, and subscribe, or dislike, it doesn't matter. We're interacting, okay? And then let me know down in the comments why you agree or disagree, okay? The title of this video is Why God is Not Your Personal Magician. Why God is Not Your Personal Magician. Over the years, I always see people saying, well, how did, why did God let this happen, you know? If there is a God, why is the world the way it is? Why is he not reaching down and, you know, manipulating all of these, um, encountering all of these, this negativity that might be happening in your life or in the world and what have you? I'll tell you why in a minute. Sorry guys, my kids just came in from outside so I had to turn the camera off and get, get the set together. But anyways guys, you know, I see a lot of people hurting. They feel like God's not interfering in their lives or they're feeling like God is not interfering in the world and the state of events. And that's completely not true. But what God gave us all is free will. And let me give you guys the correct definition of free will. According to Google, free will is the capacity of agents to choose between different possible courses of action unimpeded. So unimpeded means uninterrupted. Free will is closely linked to the concepts of moral responsibility, praise, guilt, sin, and other judgments which can apply only to actions that are freely chosen. If a lot of negative things are happening in your life, and I don't mean deaths, I mean things aren't working out for you. So if you are going through a lot of things, a lot of negative things, and things don't seem to be going your way, then, then, there, then there's a possibility that there's something that you're currently doing that needs to be removed from your life. In order for you to make it to the next step or make it to your next season, you need to remove something. People don't self-reflect. They like to be very defensive and deflect all of their issues on everybody else. But the only reason why all of these things are happening, right? is because you're attracting those things. Because there's something that you're doing in your life that is attracting these negative circumstances. And even though, but I started this new thing, you can't start this new positive thing with negative things still going on in your world. For instance, I was an alcoholic and I would wonder why all these negative things are happening to me. And I'm a good person, you know, I drink, and I have a good time and I do my thing, okay? And everyone in the world does it, okay? We're just partying and having a good time, right? Things are still negatively happening in my life. So I said, you know what? And, and my husband, he wasn't my husband at the time. He was also an alcoholic. I decided for my peace, because I don't, I don't have peace right now. He's the kind of alcoholic that likes to bicker. He's the bickering alcoholic, right? And I'm the alcoholic that's like, hey, yeah! But then you got somebody bickering with you. So it's like, okay, clearly we have a problem, okay? Because we know what time all the alcohol, all, all the liquor stores open in the area, okay? There was only one that opened at six o'clock and that was over there in Eastover, okay? We can go there early in the morning with all the other drunks to get our bottles. And we drink several bottles a day, straight, no chaser, okay? In the bag or out the bag, it's straight, okay? And we knew what to, we had to hurry up and get to the liquor stores before they close at night and if we're running low on liquor before they close or or if or if it closes and we run out of liquor do you know we're fighting you know what i'm saying that's how serious it was but in order for my life to get better i had to change something even though he has the problem too but he has the problem too i had to change my behavior so what i did was i quit doing anything negative okay and low vibrational because Drinking, even though they call it happy hour, liquor and alcohol, okay, have deadly effects to the human body. 
all right? Never heard that about marijuana. So then there's that. So people think that they're, oh, we're just having fun and just letting loose and we're just, ooh, ooh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, you're not. You're affecting yourself whether you know it or not. My husband is diabetic, he has pancreatitis from drinking, okay? It, it affects your, it affects your, first of all, your family life, it affects, okay? And internally, it affects you. And externally, you look terrible. You know, it's just, it all around affects you. But you think you're having a great time and I'm just being young and I'm just doing my thing and everybody else is doing it and everybody's got, you know, all my favorite rappers have have a drink out. You know, we've got Ducé, we've got Ciroc, we've got all these different things. These are all negative things and this to keep you low vibrational. So I need you to think outside of your surroundings and think a little high vibrational and say, you know what, let me change something so that I can move to the next level. So I quit drinking and guess what happened after that? My husband quit drinking. Then I quit smoking cigarettes. And guess what happened after that? My husband's quit smoking cigarettes. See, be the change that you want to see. And if it's just you and you see that all these negative things keep happening or your low vibrational life is affecting something that could be positive in your life, you have to do the inner work and say, you know what, I need to change some things. And then you'll see that your whole life changes once you remove that thing. Sorry about that, you guys. Satan don't want me to finish this video. Actually, my camera went dead, so. But anyways, guys, as I was saying, just like the laws of gravity, there's universal laws that God has already put in place in the universe for us. So whatever we give is what we get. If you're a positive person, you think positive, you do positive things, you say, most importantly, say positive things. Like, you can't say negative things and expect positive a positive reaction from the universe we really have more power than we think we do so i just want you guys to know that when it comes to god he gives us free will so whatever you speak over yourself is what you're going to get another thing is god is a way maker so he might send people into your life if your life is already in a positive state then God sends people into your life. Like nothing is a coincidence. So you just have to determine who the who people, the people are, are, sent are sent by. by. So yes, nothing in life is a coincidence. Whatever happens was supposed to happen. And you need to find out why this was supposed to happen. Is it supposed to make me grow? I just shared something on Facebook today where it says life is a constant fight with your higher and lower self. Don't let your lower self win. Because your lower self presents doubt and anxiety and all these negative feelings and emotions. And you can't let that win. Something else that I shared on um, Facebook is you create your reality. So if you're not happy with your life right now, accept responsibility that you created it. The beautiful thing is you also have the power to change it. So yes, let's not loathe and wallow in our mistakes okay we're supposed to learn from our mistakes and God has already put something inside of us that will bring us peace hope joy and that's our gift our journey is to find our gift and that will be the answer to a lot of the questions and issues that we have in our lives so the closer you get to God you tend to find your gift I did which is why I said you know maybe yeah, I like clothes and I have a clothes business, but now that I've become a pescatarian, I feel like I, it's my duty to provide good food, good vegan and vegetarian food for people so that they, that'll urge them to transition and say, you know, there is life after meat. You can eat the things you love to eat. And which is why, you know, we launched Fat Vegan which is another reason why I'm gonna be launching Electric Vegan and so on and so forth. I feel like, and I'm getting, and we're getting a lot of traction on social media. So I feel like in doing God's work, because I know he doesn't want us to be sick. He doesn't want us to be, you know, bogged down with infirmaries and diseases from our food that he didn't even give us. He gave us real live growing food from the earth. Like, why would he want us to be eating oatmeal cream pies and catching diabetes? Like, you tell me. So we can get back to what, once we get back to what God wants for us, then we can 
be our highest self. I used to be, I was raised in church, okay? Don't get me wrong, I was raised in church. It was never cool to talk about God, you know, when you're a kid. But I now understand as an adult, once I've been through some things now, that I can't stop talking about God because I know he's the one who's delivered me through so much. As many times as I've tried to destroy myself, God is the one who's kept me. So why would I, I look, I talk about God all day, every day, okay? Because God has saved me and he's helping me become my highest self. So yeah, guys, I, he's not your personal magician. It's not like, you know, you, you have to do some inner standing. You have to, you have to do some self-evaluation to figure out what it is that you need to know about yourself in order to maneuver in this world. Um, because you have the keys, you got the wheel, baby, and you, you drive your life and you decide which way you wanna go. And there's only good and there's only evil. There's nothing in between. And it's your choice to choose. It's your job to choose which road you're taking. Are you gonna take the good road? Or are you gonna take the evil road? And I mean, you're basically letting God know who you are worshiping by your actions, you know? So if you're constantly speaking negatively, Oh, you shouldn't do that, you can't do that. Well, nobody was able to do this and this. You're worshiping Satan by being negative. So to wrap this up, you guys, God has put the tools inside of you to control your own life. And the more that you involve him in your plans, things become easier, peaceful, and just brighter. It's just a completely different experience, life experience. And I wish I would have been conscious enough to teach, to know this sooner. But listen, as long as I know now, I know what to do, what not to do, to be blessed. And that's just on period. So you guys, if you have any questions, please comment down below or DM me on my social medias. I'm gonna do more talks like this because I think I have a, like a little list of things I would just wanna get off my chest. So this is one of them. God is not your personal magician. You are in control in Jesus' name. We pray. Make sure you binge on something positive today, you guys. And we'll see you in another video. Huh?